So this is it. This is the scam right here. So after my video on Ponzi schemes, a few people asked me to have a look at some different projects that they are wondering about. And the one I'll be looking at today is called Cloud Token. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that'll help you to stay in the loop about future content I make that helps you to find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. So we'll start off with a website and we'll go from there. So just on their website and let's have a look. After having a read of this thing they call their business proposal, it's clear to me that it really is targeted at people who have no idea uh, about cryptocurrency, but also people who don't really have any clue about investing either and the kinds of documentation that you tend to get uh, along with an investment. This paragraph right here to me is a massive red flag in that they've just dropped as many impressive sounding buzzwords as they possibly can, especially things to make it sound like, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and everything else are obsolete. And this is the next thing. Risk-free arbitrage. There you go. High frequency hedge. It's very interesting to me that this website doesn't really talk at all about uh, affiliate programs or rewards or returns or anything else like that, like the really, really obvious Ponzi stuff. So let's have a look at their wallet. Cloud technology and investments. 2,000 reviews, 100,000 downloads, 4.4 stars. Good grief. Cloud token. Create account. I've got to say, this is not inspiring confidence. Let's see if we can proceed with that one. Nope. So I couldn't get any further in the app at all without a referral code. So I punched this cloud token wallet into Google and uh, this website came up with one of the first results and man, it is a corker. This website does not hold back talking about gains and referral codes and everything else like that. So let's just have a look at this because this, this, this shows you everything you need to know. So cryptocurrency wallet that pays. There you go. Key business points. Profit sharing from day one. 8 to 12% returns per month with a little asterisk. 8 to 12% per month. That is insane. That is a huge red flag. I love this. Credibility. Cloud token app is listed on the Apple and Google store. That doesn't make you credible, really. Real people, real technology, real business plan. I've read the business plan and I'm not convinced it's real. Oh man, look at this. Lucrative rewards program that is 21 levels deep. Let's view this compensation plan, shall we? Really hit the jackpot with this compensation plan page. And uh, you can see that the multi-level marketing of this just makes even BitConnect uh, look like amateur hour. And uh, you know it helps make a lot of sense now as to why when I had a quick look on YouTube, there was a whole bunch of videos of people wanting to sign up others using their codes and uh, convince people this isn't a scam when seriously, this, this is a massive red flag. This has got to be the best bit yet. So testimonials and documentation. Cloud Tokens Australian Business Registration. There you go. They're registered here. Go Australia. It doesn't look as though they're actually licensed to offer anything at all in terms of financial services. If you look at any Australian based investment business, you know, like beta shares, for example, they almost always include information uh, about their Australian financial services license number. And they'll offer things like a financial services guide that helps you to understand uh, more about what they offer. You know, if this cloud token actually is some sort of Australian business and is offering some kind of financial services, uh, it really makes you wonder why the detail on their actual website is so sparse. So let's have a look at the app. So I've got my scammy referral code. Let's go. Login password. I wonder if it'll let me have password. Ah, oh, payment password. There is no surer mark of quality software than something that lets you use the word password as a password and something that lets you use one, two, three, four, five, six as a pin. Well, at the very least, it's spitting out 12 words that are in fact a valid BIP39 wallet. So let's have a look and see how we go. This is very interesting. So I've hit receive in the wallet and it's giving me some addresses but they are not the BIP39 addresses that they should be. Not for Bitcoin. Nope, does not match for Ethereum either. I don't actually believe this app is running a local wallet at all. So I reckon if we disconnect the network, it's gonna stop working dead in its tracks. So let's see, Litecoin. Receive, please check your internet connection. There you go. You can't receive at all. Play it send. Please check your internet connection. Receive. Please check your internet connection. <laughs> Anything. Please check your internet connection. 
so this is it. This is the scam right here. So basically, this is a fully custodial wallet. As we saw earlier, the mnemonic phrase they're giving doesn't really seem to match the addresses that it's generating, even though it's a valid BIP39 um, mnemonic. The thing is that any non-custodial crypto wallet actually generates all of its receive addresses locally on the device. They don't need an internet connection to work out and to derive what all the addresses are going to be. This cloud token wallet isn't real. It's essentially just a front end to some website uh, that's basically giving you a bunch of receive addresses that really have nothing to do with the mnemonic phrase that they've given you. In my previous video where I look at hostile wallets, you know, one of the things that I offer there is to say that, you know, really any new wallet is something you should avoid. And, uh, you know, this has only been out there for a few months. It really, really looks as though it's actually not a legitimate wallet at all. Even though the design of it is strange, it has still been designed to look and behave like you would expect a crypto wallet to behave. How this exit scam is going to work is basically what's going to happen is at some point in the future, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a week's time, maybe in six months, uh, this cloud token wallet is going to have some weird hack where all the users suddenly lose all their funds. And the people who made the software, who've been running this scam, are going to throw their hands up in the air and go, oh, it was hackers. We don't know what happened. What a surprise. What a shame. It's clearly not our fault. The key con here is tricking users into thinking they are holding their own private keys, when in reality, I'm pretty sure they're not. I'm calling it, to me, this is an obvious Ponzi. And uh, yeah, anyone who's using this as their wallet needs to get their funds out now. When it comes to cryptocurrency, your wallet is not something you muck around with. And uh, simply put, any service at all, any service that offers a wallet that tries to masquerade as a non-custodial wallet, one where you control the private keys, but really is fully dependent on their servers to show you just about everything. Uh, any wallet that provides you with a mnemonic phrase that you can't verify and validate in other tools itself, you know, run as fast as you can. Uh, this wallet is going to exit scam, it's only a matter of time, and uh, that's how this Ponzi scheme is going to come crashing down. Even without the dodgy wallet, there's enough red flags for the cloud token wallet to be something you should steer well clear of. Uh, it's an obvious Ponzi scheme and it's only a matter of time until it comes crashing down. Depending on how long this thing drags out and how big it gets, it may end up being the biggest wallet exit scam crypto has seen yet. If you know people who are getting sucked into this scheme, they may be thinking it's real because they're getting paid actual rewards. But the fact of the matter is, that's how all Ponzi schemes work. It's only a matter of time until the whole thing crashes down and the people do a runner with everyone's money. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.